only just over three years or so between these two players age-wise, but they're at very different stages of their careers and they have very different mindsets in this tournament. Alan and Stewart can talk us through it. Yeah, absolutely. Glenn Durrant loving every minute of his PDC experience, reached three major TV semi-finals in his first year, while Barney's attitude to this Players' Championship event has raised a few eyebrows, using it as a, a warm-up to the world. The only reason that I'm here, he says, if I lift this trophy, great money, but ranking-wise it doesn't matter because I'm giving up in January. Words to that effect, and uh, I know it... it, it received damning criticism from both Chris Mason and Alan Warren at the top of the show. So if he wins the world title, he's packing in. Is that what we're saying? And he thinks not. Yeah, you're right with the attitudes there, Stuart. It's uh, Glenn Durant. Very good player, quality player. We all know that. He's had a great season in his first season in the PDC. Shown his true quality. On that big stage, won the two players' championships, as we mentioned. He's got a good character, dry sense of humour. It's Glenn to throw first. But he comes alive Game when on. he's on that stage. Yeah, well, so far, I mean, despite Barney protestations, he's breezed past both Nathan Aspinall and Joe Cullen, and he's playing some good stuff. Uh, Durrant uh, beating Scott Baker and then surviving match darts against Max Hopp. So, 45. But Durrant. Jackie said 49 uh, on finals day here tomorrow in Minehead. I'll be hoping it's a, a birthday to celebrate. Yeah, but he really has embraced the PVC. You know, people have sort of said to Glenn Durrant many times, I guess, over the last year or two, why didn't you join the PDC earlier? But, you know, he made no, his decision. Just... For him, it was the right decision. He won three lakeside titles and then decided to give it a go. And he's made a a pretty good fest of it. 135. Shot there from Barney. Yes, at the end of the day, Stuart, it was his decision, and his decision alone. My personal view on the matter, it was probably about the right time, all about timing. 96. He's loving every minute of it, it really yeah. is. 13 years since Raymond Van Barnevel switched. You may remember he, he lost his legs, last leg side final, didn't he? 96. To, to Yellow Classic. And then switched, won the greatest game against Phil Taylor. We love our characters in the sport, don't we? When you look back in the history of the game, all the way back to like Bobby yeah, George, yeah. Jockey Wilson, Eric, all these players, that's what fans respond to. They love the character of the player that no, plays our too. sport. Long oh, may that continue. That's what keeps us going. They provide the party atmosphere. And the lads on the stage provide the world-class sport. All of course, for Raymond Van Barneveld, it really is the last hurrah. Next month is penultimate tournament. The tops for the perfect start. 78. And you require 100. Do you think it's all bluster? I think he cares. Gotta want to win. Maybe he's turning it round and trying to just. Looks everybody. Double 16. Yeah, the first leg. Yes. Well, Barney was Second mad at himself for missing first. tops for the ton plus checkout. And that's why, because it left it open for Glenn Durant to take his chance. 60. Three legs on the spin for young Chris Doby over on stage two. <coughs> They are level at five all, Doby and John Henderson. 60. And the winner of that plays the winner of this in the quarterfinals on Sunday afternoon here in Minehead. 100. Just back to that point I made before, Stuart, at Barney in the world. Let's just say he has a really good run, gets to the semis final even better. Are you going to tell me that he's going to pack in? 57. No chance. No no absolutely spot on, Alan. It, it, was, it is strange, but Barney's Barney, and he, he's very set in his ways, and he'll be focused on 
on that last hurrah at the Alexandra Palace. But as you say, if it goes well, don't forget in the, in the Premier League earlier this year, you have two nightmare nights in Rotterdam and quit and then changed his mind the day after. He was overawed by the occasion there, wasn't he? Yeah. Marvellous occasion there in consecutive nights in Rotterdam, amazing scenes. And the Orange Army out in full decor. 100, when you require 164. These two big troubles. Can't do it now. Barney looking to level. He had one dart at tops. 94. Take the first leg against the foe. This is to hold. Double six in a oh, 30 scored. That wasn't that wasn't in the script. Neither was that. Yeah, it's on the second leg. Well, neither was that, but he got he got there in the Denver end. Glenn to throw first. Game. He certainly did, only just. Oh, I don't know what many people's opinion of a double three, but it's certainly not a favourite of many people. Certainly not mine. 96. Richard Ashdown likes it. His favourite. Here we go. But Barney actually scoring better than Durrant at the moment. Durrant's another one who's been prone, certainly this year, to slow starts. 140. His first 140. Very much a composed player Barney normally as he gets the first match. Look at out. He wears his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he? Very emotional player. Sometimes you can see him physically gene himself up when he's taking a big shot out. 98. Yeah, always, always touches the, the tip of the flight against his nose. Oh. Shane Burgess, when he used to throw, he used to flick his eyelid, didn't he? Yeah. 167. Shane Burgess, blast from the past. <laughs> he was a character. He did the trouble 19 for the sequence. 127. Uh, just giving Barney a tap on his shoulder, leaving Tops, Duran. Well, he had one doubt in the first leg to break. Tops, he missed it. This is for double 18. Yeah, this time, leg, it hits the target. The leg is Raymond to throw first. Game. All in all, in this tournament, he's played really well. He's looked composed, he's taken his chances, he's scoring pretty well. 100. Maybe he's leading us up the false garden path so he can perform. You never know. Fifty-seven. Oh, it's a little bit of a, a struggle at the moment for Durant. Ninety-six. Decent cover shot. Not happy with that one at all, Glenn. 82. Just maybe he needs to settle down a little bit more. Drying themselves in the auditorium. 85. Saturday night at the darts in Minehead. You've never been it's an experience you'll never forget. Fifty-four. Oh, just not happening for Durant at the moment. For all power to Barney's right arm. One hundred. Yes, Barney's well aware of the situation, but he's got to take advantage of it. He's doing it at the moment. Looking good in this leg for a three-one lead. Target at the moment. 78. He's getting the odd cover shot. The power scoring on the treble 20 is just not there. Tops for 120. Yes. Finger of approval from RVB. Yeah, for somebody who wasn't really sure who was playing from round to round and not too bothered about uh, the event, just treating it as a warm up. He's playing well. 
He's playing very, very well. His reverse psychology is working. Oh, Ten points difference in the averages. Chris Dobie, by the way, has won six consecutive legs from 5-2 down, leads John Henderson 8-5 over on stage two. Yes, Henderson come back there from Chris, one of our top younger players on the circuit. Hendo was looking good at one stage there. Glenn's got to dig deep here, Stuart. Just try and take this leg in whichever way he can. Get in the break. And just settle himself down and come out fighting in the second session. Here's a question for you. Is Durant in the mix for the Premier League, do you think? Well, he's in the mix. There's quite a lot of people in the mix. No, it's a big mix, isn't it? I certainly think that the addition of the other players playing the one-off games was a great addition last season. Certainly when you saw Hendo's walk on, that was incredible. In Aberdeen. Playing another player, Chris Dobie, who also had his moment in Newcastle. And trouble 17 to leave it. Well, he well and truly puts the pressure on Glenn Durant, who's feeling the heat at the moment. He's got to take it. Well done, Barney. Is the pressure going to tell? Oh, it is, you know. Fantastic 1 7 1 setup. Well, Barney is producing some sublime form this weekend. Can he go 4 1 up? One left. Yeah. Right in the corner. Raymond Van Barbaro is dominating. Well, it certainly isn't uppermost in his mind, he claims. But it's 4 1 up. And the state stands. It's heading for the quarter-finals, still with some work to do. The reign of that Barnabell is playing beautifully. Barney four, Durham one.